Hi everyone. Today I'm going to demonstrate how to deploy your website or your web service to Azure App Services. If you're not aware of Azure App Services, Azure App Services provide a serverless hosting option to deploy your website or a web service. I'm just using Visual Studio 2019 to deploy this uh, website to the app service. So I'm using uh, create new project. So I'm just creating a sample project here by using a new one. And then I'm picking up the .NET Core web application based on your requirement. You, can, you might have developed already with the various technologies, but I'm picking up a .NET Core application. Next. I'm just making my sample application sample up to app service. Good. Great. So I'm just creating it. So after a few seconds, my project is ready here. My sample app to app service. And it is uh, requesting you to enable uh, the Hyper-V Windows features if you want to use Docker and container technology. So for timing, I'm just saying no because I'm not going to use Docker here for this project. So I'm going to select uh, instead of Docker, I'm selecting IS Express. Just change that. So my project is ready. I have already few sample pages with index.html and privacy uh, CS uh, HTML. So I'm going to run and see how it works first. This is going to run on my local IIS. It takes a few seconds to bring it to the browser. You can see uh, it's getting loaded uh, and it is running on the local host. So you can see that it is welcome learn about building web apps uh, with ASP.NET Core. Let me go back to my solution. Now my, I'm stopping the debugging. My goal is to publish my website to oh, Azure App Service. Hence, I'm just right clicking on my project. Select publish. You can see whether you want to use a create new or select existing app service. So I'm assuming that you don't have any existing app services. So I'm also cre selecting create new, create profile, but it takes few seconds to create that so i'm going with the pay as you go in case if you have a still existing free subscription you can select that free subscription so it gave the resource group uh, but if you want to create the other one you can go ahead uh, you can also select the hosting plan what hosting plan you want to use i selected south central uh, us so you can also select the different one in case if you prefer to host your uh, website in a different location like Europe or uh, India. So the next one is size. By default, it selected S1, uh, which, with, which comes with one core and 1.75 GB RAM, but I'm going with the free one. Do you need the app application inside? If yes, you can just select which location. But uh, for now, I'm skipping that. Just simply create it. After you, after a minute, you may uh, come to the screen where you can uh, directly publish. I forgot to mention one thing. Before you start this process, create Azure account. Uh, you can also select the free uh, plan. So uh, then you can start this whole thing. Okay, publish it. It may again take a few seconds or a couple of minutes. Please wait for that. Automatically takes a URL to the browser and uh, you can see that it is loading. You can see the page here. So the publishing is finished. Now I want to see where it is hosted, right? So you can go to the Cloud Explorer and uh, see where your app service plans. Uh, my sample app to app service is here. You can open in portal. I did literally nothing uh, on the Azure site, but it automatically created whatever it is required to deploy my web application, including the framework selection. 
uh, let's say .NET Core App 3.0, it is selected here. So all those things are all uh, done by the Visual Studio. You can see my plan here. So this is not something I created, but it automatically created when I wanted to deploy. And you can see all the CPU percentage utilized, memory percentage, data in, all the parameters and uh, uh, performance uh, uh, parameters you can see here. Yeah. That's it for today. I'll come back with more uh, uh, features on Azure. Thank you.